so hello everybody now we are back with unit 8 lesson 4 and I told you before that U for unit and L for lesson this lesson I hope that all of you will be able to speak about rainforest animals you read about them you are going to write a description of them and we are going to have to get some grammar and some vocabulary why well, this is not working okay so we are going to make a little review here okay what do you remember about the weather in Brazil the Amazon and the rainforest so you are going to both the video here you are going to speak about what what you remember try to remember to recall all the information you know about the weather in Brazil Amazon and rainforest okay talk about it what kind of animals live in rainforest? Which part of the forest do you think they live in? The canopy or the first floor? Try to build the video here. Try to speak about that. So try to get some information. You may even use the internet, but in all cases, speak, speak, speak. Secrobia trees. This tree is going to be mentioned so many times, that's why I brought it to you here, the Cecrobia trees. And this is these like wings. Okay. Habitats. The habitat of an animal or a plant is the natural environment in which it normally lives or grows. Look here at the four. There are four different habitats. Now, focus on this photo. This photo. Focus on it. Why do you think this animal is called a spider monkey? Why do we call it a spider monkey? Think about it. Okay? Yes. Scan the text in uh, the text two in 30 seconds to find the answers. All I need you to do now is you are going to scan very fast to find me the answer. Why do you think this animal is called a spider monkey? Okay, this is the answer. Spider monkeys are named that way because they hang from the trees by holding different branches with their limbs and long tails shaped like spiders so this is how they hang up there this is why they call it spider monkeys okay read me read my description of the spider monkey what adjectives does she use to describe it before we find anything in this I just need you to look at this what is an adjective I want you to remember what is an adjective. An adjective is a describing word, a word that describes a noun, all right? An adjective gives more information about something. For example, if you say something is blue, it's cold, someone is happy, this gives you more information about the noun. Also, an adjective generally describes, as I said before, it's a noun. It doesn't describe a verb. The one that describes a verb is an adverb. So, look here at this, we see that we, we, we write the green monastery, but we don't say the monastery, the monastery green, because the adjectives goes here before the noun, so the green monastery, not the monastery green. Or we can say the monastery is green. So, here is how we deal with adjectives. I, want you, I wanted you to remember them. Now, what adjectives does she use to describe it? Okay, these are the adjectives that they're in the text black, brown, red, long, endangered, thick, diurnal, sociable. Okay, now we are going to deal with every, with every adjective and its meaning. Endangered. Endangered means in danger. Thick means wider and deeper. Diurnal. Diurnal. It means active during the daytime and sociable means friendly and enjoy talking to other people. Okay, 
So now we are going to have another text. Choose a heading for each of the sections from one to five in the text. He will have diet, appearance, location, behavior, curious fact. You are going to listen to every section. I have divided every section in a different slide and you are going to choose one of these. This one is done for you, okay? Spied monkeys live in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. They usually live high up in Cecropia trees and almost never come to the ground. Some are endangered because their habitat has been destroyed. Okay, and so the answer here, as it's already answered, is the location. Let's go to number two. They have got thick, black, brown or red fur and four long limbs. They've also got a very strong, long tail which they use to hang upside down from the branches of the trees. So here, there we have four options here, five options. Is it diet, appearance, location, behavior? Is it the curious fact about them? You, ha you need to read it very carefully after listening to find the answer, which answer of them. So, if you concentrate here, you are going to see that the answer is appearance. Why appearance? Because they are talking about thick black, brown, red fur. So, this is c good appearance. Their favorite food is fruit which they pick with their long arms. But they also eat seeds, nuts, plants and honey. All right, so which one is this one? It's talking about food. Yes, it's the diet. Spied monkeys live in groups of 20 or more and dark animal, active during the day. They love swinging from tree to tree. So which one is this? Yes, it's behavior. Let's go to the last one. However, these monkeys one. are not very sociable. When they see a human, they often scream or jump up and down, shaking the branches of the trees. Yes, I need you to be very careful. This, this animal, this small animal is not very cute. So just don't try to think that it's just the same like any monkey, you know, or a, or a cat or a dog. This is not a pet, not a pet, okay? So look at this, and I remember that a gang of 400 uh, spider monkeys, they attacked people in India. So is that their appearance, location, behavior, a curious fact? Of course, the answer is, it is a curious fact about them. Now I want you to look at these pictures from lesson two. Do you remember them? Look at these pictures very carefully and try to see if you remember them or not. Okay. Now read what am I, read the descriptions of the rainforest animals and match them to the correct picture. This animal lives in the canopy of the rainforest. It's mainly a fruit eater, although it sometimes likes to capture lizard or snake from the forest floor. It's got a big yellow and brown sharp bill, similar to a beak, which it uses to pick and throw fruit. Okay, which one of them do you think it is? Okay, which one? Of course, it's the toucan. Okay? Now, let's go to two. This little animal lives in the giant trees and the canopy of the rainforest. It eats insects and fruit as well as pollen. It's about the size of a mouse. It has a brown, black and white tummy and a very long, thin, feathery tail. Okay, which one of them? A, B, C or D? Of course, it's the Benjamin Glider. Three, this long animal lives in the other street of the rainforest. It's a great hunter and likes to surprise its prey. It eats birds, frogs, lizards and rodents. It's very strong and it has circular and oval shaped brown patterns on its body. Which one is that? Yes, it's the bow constructor. Four, this animal lives in the emergent trees of the rainforest. 
It has a pale, gray head, black altered feathers, and white underfeathers. It likes to eat monkeys and sloths. Which one of them? Yeah, it's, it's the harpy eagle. Now the, I have collected all of them in one slide in case you want to read all of them. Okay, now let's go to your activity book page 94. Uh, this is a true or false, but you need first to read. Once you read, you understand and then you, you start answering. A token eats fruit, lizards and snakes. Is it true or false? I'm going to answer one for you and you are going to complete the others okay by yourself and remember you have answers by the end of this video now we come to grammar uh, we've just talked about adjectives here we are going to talk about adjective order uh, here the general order of adjectives before a noun is like this we start with the opinion size age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose, and then we have the noun. For example, if we have a small Italian uh, sleeping bag, is, should I say small Italian or Italian small? This is the order of, um, of adjectives. Should I say this beautiful white girl or I'm going to say white beautiful girl? How am I going to arrange the adjectives in front of a noun? So this is how you are going to um, arrange them. Some people would say that you use this word uh, osasakom. Uh, this is going to help you to remember the order. Um, also, uh, today we are going to deal with them and pay in this activity book. Uh, look here, we, we divided them, uh, we uh, numbered them one, two, three, four, five, um, just to help you with this. We are going to have uh, an exercise now. Um, this, uh, also, if you need more information about this, if you don't understand it, uh, you can use your mobile, as I told you um, with others, you are going to use your mobile and going to scan um, this code. So this code has more information and videos about the uh, adjective orders. Uh, now, I have minimized this there and we are going to read the fact file about sloth and match the adjectives in, uh, in order to the numbers uh, in the use of English books. Here I have uh, listening. Why listening is not listening? As I told you before that I like you to first to read for yourself silently and listen and follow with your pencil just to learn how to read perfectly. Sloths, the two-toed, three-toed sloths live in the rainforest of Costa Rica. They have got a thick, grey, furry coat and long, sharp claws and very tiny ears, so they don't hear very well. They have got a short, flat head but have got excellent eyesight and a good sense of smell. Sloths are herbivores but they don't eat a lot of They eat leaves, fruit and other plants very slowly with their small teeth. They spend most of their time hanging upside down in the trees sleeping. Even when they are at work they don't move. A sloth can sleep for 15 to 18 hours each day. They are also the slowest mammals on earth. It takes them a month to move one kilometer. So now we want to match them, to match the adjectives. Uh, for example here I say thick. The word thick is shape. So how about grey? What is that? Grey, is it color or shape or age or what? Of course it's color. How, how about um, Furry. It's coming from fur. Yes, it's material. And long. What's long? Yes, long is size. How about sharp? Sharp is shape. How about short? Tiny, I'm sorry. Tiny is size. And how about short? Short is also size. Flat. Flat is shape. Here we have also, also we have the word small, small is shape. So concerning shape we have one, two, three, four, 
and uh, size, I'm sorry, four, shape we've got three. Now, in your activity book, page 95, you are going to have the same order number, opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, noun. Again, this is the adjective order, uh, the, uh, the order of the adjectives before a noun. Here, for example, they, we say three fabulous. Three, we can't say fabulous to three, we say three fabulous big, all fat, brown, Costa, uh, Costa Rican, fairy sloth. Now, back again, activity book, page uh, 95. Um, this is very good activity to arrange the adjectives. I'm going to answer one for you, another one, other than one and you are going to continue working with others. Remember, there are going to be answers by the end of this video. Reorder the adjectives to make descriptions about the animals from the text. Uh, here we say uh, amazing, long, thin, uh, tail, feathery. So we say an amazing, long, thin, feathery. So you see these four, they arrange this way, tail. We have tree frog, Brazilian, A, green, small. Of course, we are going to start with the, the, uh, this one. We are going to say a, uh, a small green Brazilian free, uh, tree frog. You are going to complete the others for homework, inshallah. Uh, writing tip. Use lots of uh, adjectives to make your descriptions more interesting. Use comments between them when needed. Write a description of a rainforest animal. Choose any animal. Even one of these you studied. I choose, um, find out if the animal is an endangered species, find out uh, about it on the internet or in a library, whatever, are you going to write about it. Also, there is a little challenge here, we, we use Jaguar. You can write a description of that. what you are going to write, you are going to write about the location, about its appearance, the diet and the behavior. So. I'm just going to give you one homework, homework concerning this. Find any animal and write about it. Thank you very much for this. Thank you.